hello guys i hope you are doing really really well today we're gonna do the walkthrough tutorial for note shelf it is a note taking app guys so let me open this so when you open it it will be like this and if you don't have time and you want to create a quick note so there is an option over here is a plus sign over here just uh, click on this plus sign and then you see this option quick create so just select this quick create option so it will quickly create uh, a note for you and then you can start making the note straight away guys okay so if you want to change uh, the template you can also change the template by going through here you can see the settings option over here so just select this one and then it is giving you the change page template option so just select it so it gives you different options over here you can see there are a lot of options dark midnight a4 and there are a lot of plain rule checked and then if you want more option there is in the last there is a icon you can see here it says free downloads so when you select it it will take you to the note shelf club and then there are a lot of templates available over here so you can select whichever you like so this is how you guys can create the quick uh, note option so if you have time there is an option over here as well it's a same thing you can go here and then you can see it says new notebook so i will create a new notebook for you and then it gives you the two uh, option uh, for the uh, um, book cover and for the uh, template so book cover you can change the uh, book cover template from here whichever color you like okay custom uh, waves and then they again there is a free download option also available over here and then uh, for example I select this one and then for the paper template you can change from here so whichever template for example you you are looking for something related to finance uh, for student for example uh, I like this one so I go for, with this one and then there is option it says create notebook so the notebook will be created and it will be like that and then you can start working on it guys so uh, this is the second thing so now i will go back and i will uh, tell you more about how to backup your notes so what if you want to backup your notes there is an option over here you see it says settings so you go over here in the settings option and then uh, you can see there is option it says cloud and backup so when you click on this cloud and backup option you can see here you can um, it gives you the option for dropbox google drive and evernote so you can publish your work to evernote all you have to do is you have to sign in uh, to your account in the Evernote and then whatever uh, you uh, whatever you do your work on um, uh, on these notes you can easily uh, publish it uh, by uh, going through here so you can see here there is a backup option so currently I'm not uh, backing up my notes so um, I will uh, I will uh, go with it like that so let me finish this one so the other thing uh, let's enter into the uh, notes and see what we have inside the notes uh, what tools do we have so you can see here so the f very first and important uh, tool in the note shelf or any note taking app is its pen option so this is the pen option when i click it you can see it is giving you three different type of pen option uh, it's one uh, is like pencil the other one is like a pen and the uh, third one is like a ball pen which is my favorite and if we talk about the sizes it gives you eight different sizes you can see you can select from here and you can see here it is uh, giving you different thickness of your pen okay and the colors whichever colors uh, you want it is giving you the coloring option here and you can also edit and you can customize your own color you can see from here you can customize your own color for your pen okay guys the other thing uh, which is cool about uh, this pen option you can make your favorite pen as well so i already make this uh, pen my favorite so whenever i try to write it will always uh, bring me this pen with this thickness and uh, this size so this is how you guys can uh, make your favorite pen
so the next thing that we're gonna talk about is a highlighter so the the next thing is a highlighter so when I click on this highlighter option you can see it it is giving you two different type of highlighters over here and uh, again there are a lot of colors option whichever color uh, you want to use for highlighting your documents for highlighting your uh, text and you can also edit it and you can customize your own color whichever color uh, you like okay guys and uh, the other thing uh, about this uh, highlighter is uh, you, it giving you six different type of sizes you can see from here it is giving six different uh, sizes and also you can make your uh, favorite highlighter by clicking over here you can see you can make your highlighter clear and then if you want to highlight you can see it here I'm highlighting my handwriting you can see it over here so this is for the highlighting option and uh, if we move to the third option which is eraser option so you can see it over here when I click on this it is giving you three different type of erasing sizes and it's also giving you the option of clear page so once you uh, select this it will clear all the page and then um, the last option which is important here is erase highlighter only so if you enable this option it will only erase the highlighter it will not uh, erase the entire story so I will show you how does it work so now I select the eraser and then I select this size okay and then I want to uh, erase my hi highlighter so you can see it here so my highlighter has been erased same goes for this one I will select again and then I erase this one so you can see it erase my highlight uh, my highlighter if I want to erase um, my handwriting again I will go here and then I disable this erase highlighter only option so it will disable it and it will start erasing my erasing my handwriting you can see it over here so it erase my ha handwriting the next thing that we uh, want to talk about here is putting text to your notes so for example uh, you want to put any text so simply you have to go here you see this icon and then just click on this one and then it just tap on your screen a keyboard will appear and then you can write anything you want to write okay guys so for example I write any text and then if you want to change the size you can change the size from here so you can see it over here I'm changing the size of my text and then if you want to change the style then different styles are over here and the colors if you want to change the colors the colors are over here there are a lot of colors option and then you can also customize it and if you want to make it left in the middle or in the right so there are these option as well that you can use the other thing is if you uh, want to uh, write with your S Pen and then you want to convert it into the text this option is also available what you have to do you have to go here onto your text okay and then uh, just click on this one like that and then uh, just click over here okay and then click this uh, small uh, uh, blue vapor shape okay just click on this one and it will give you the option of clipboard so just cli uh, click on this clipboard option so once you select the below um, uh, menu will be changed and then you see a small icon over here it's written here T with the pen so just select this one okay so once you select this one uh, it will give you a space to write anything so you can write here and then it will convert into uh, the text so for example I write here convert okay so now you see here it is now converted into my text the, the, the handwriting converted into the text again I can uh, write anything okay and then you can see here so it is converting my handwriting into the text so this is really really important feature for example if you are taking uh, the notes it will be really helpful the next uh, tool that we're going to talk about is the selection tool guys it's really cool feature and it's really uh, amazing tool that a note shelf is giving uh, so the selection tool is over here you can see this is the selection tool i select it now i can select whatever i want to select and it will uh, draw a solid line like that okay and then it will 
select uh, this uh, this whole area that I want to select and then after it it gives you the option different option you can cut you can copy you can delete you can resize you can color there are a lot of option it will give you the other thing that this selection tool will do is for example if you want to take a screenshot okay so what you will do just select uh, this selection tool and then if you want to take a screenshot for example if you want to take a screenshot of this area okay you can take the screenshot as well guys so the very first option it is giving you here is the screenshot option just select this screenshot option and then you can see it uh, take out that area and after that uh, you can export it and you can share it uh, in there in all of your apps whichever app is giving you the option for the sharing you can see here in messenger in gmail in samsung notes there are a lot of options that you can do using uh, and this uh, screenshot option it's really amazing and a really cool feature that no shelf is giving so the next tool that we're going to talk about is the shape tool the shape tool is over here so you have to select it and then whatever you draw this note shelf will detect it for example i draw this circle and then it will detect and make it in a proper shape so this is very uh, useful tool if you want to draw shapes um, you want to draw different images so this is really uh, really helpful but you cannot edit your shapes guys so the next thing that we can uh, talk about is uh, about adding photos so if you want to add photos or images you have to go here you see this plus sign over here so just select it and then it is giving you the option uh, to select a page uh, page from template uh, page from photo and the second option here is about camera photo library and record audio so we go here for the photo library so I select this one and once you select the photo library it will bring all your images that you have in your library so for example I uh, take uh, this image okay and then I select it and now you can see here it bring it to uh, my note shelf so I can resize it uh, it's very easy I can scroll it and I can also resize it you can see it over here I can make it more small and then I can also edit it I will show you guys so you can see it over here I bring it over here and then if I want to make it small I can also make it more small like that and then if I want to edit this photo just select this option of edit and then it will take you to the uh, another page where you can, can crop it and you can erase some of the area for example if you want to erase this one or if you want to erase this whole area you can also erase it okay guys here you can do all the editing with your photo and if you want to cut some of the things you can use this option okay and then uh, you can start cutting for example I will cut uh, these you can see it over here now I am selecting it and then if I want to cut I can easily cut okay you can see it over here I am selecting this area okay and then like that and then I uh, do the apply okay and then I press the done option so now you can see here the photo has been edited it's been cut so it is really useful if you are taking uh, some kind of notes and you want to uh, put your images and you want to edit those images so it is really really helpful the next uh, thing that you can do in note shelf you can also do uh, voice recording or audio recording so for example you are taking uh, your lecture and you want to record that uh, voice of lecture so simply you have to go here in this uh, plus sign just select it and you can see there is an option it says record audio so just select it and it will start the recording and uh, here this will be the recording uh, uh, audio uh, icon and you can also take notes while recording so this is really useful if you are taking some kind of lecture and you want to record the voice of that lecture and in the meanwhile you can take the notes and if you want to stop the recording uh, you can click on here okay and then it will ask you to the stop so just select now it will be stop and then later if you want to change the speed of the recording you can also change it by clicking over here you can see it says 1.5x uh, 2x and 0.5x so there are different speeds that you can use 
for your audio recording the other thing that you can do which is very useful is scan a document so if you want to scan a document note shell gives you the ability to scan any document so you have to just go over here this plus icon and then uh, you can go over here and then you can see there is a last option it says scan document so once you select it uh, it will ask you to take the picture and then you can uh, make it a scan document and then you can also import that scan document document uh, to your notes so this is really uh, really helpful guys the other thing that you can do you can add an image uh, you can add a page uh, from the photo and you can also import pdf file and you can also uh, add other files uh, for example uh, jpg images you can also add into your notes uh, the a good thing about uh, these notes you can also bookmark your notes your favorite notes by going over here you can see so first you go here in the plus sign and here all the options you can see the last option is book mark so you select this bookmark option and then you can enable it and it gives you the option for different colors so for example i select this red color and then here you can name your uh, bookmark uh, whatever name you want to give for example if you want to give it an important so this is really useful yeah so so now uh, this page has been bookmarked so this is really helpful if you want to uh, bookmark uh, your page the other thing which is really useful is you can uh, search through your notes so simply what you have to do you have to go over here you can see this option uh, this uh, finder option just open it and then you can type here anything you want to search inside your note for example i type a word let's say convert so it will bring me to that page where this uh, word has been written so i search it from here and then you can see it over here it show me the highlighted page which where it's this word is written so I can directly go to that page this is really really useful guys and the other thing uh, that you can also annotate your PDF file simply what you have to do you have to go here a plus sign and then go here and then for example uh, select this option import document so once you go over here you can select any pdf file for example i can select this pdf file okay it will bring me to this note where i want to bring it and then this pdf file you can annotate it you can edit it if you want to edit you can write on it you can see over here you can write it okay if you want to uh, add some text from uh, this file you can also add it you can also add photo or image so there are a lot of things that you can uh, do in the other important thing that uh, you want to know if you uh, uh, want to know the information about your uh, notes like when it is created so you can also get it just go over here this settings option and then you see the last option over here it says get info just select this option of get info so it will uh, tell you the page number uh, when it is created what time it has been created and when it is updated so it is uh, really useful the other thing is if you want to export your notes so for example i create this note there are a lot of pages and i now i want to export it so simply you have to go here this it gives you the option of current page all pages or select page so it's up to you if you want to select the whole uh, uh, note that you create or if you want to select only one page so for example i select uh, all pages okay and then it will ask me the format which format i want to export png format or pdf format so it's up to you whichever format you want to make so it's up to you whichever format you want to uh, uh, convert it and then it will ask you where you want to share for example if you want to share in gmail uh, or uh, to any other mail or any platform you want to share you can share it okay guys so uh, one more thing for example uh, these are my different notes and for example if i uh, uh, click long time on one note it open a menu over here so in this uh, menu it gives you the option of open uh, pin notebook change cover rename duplicate move and share i can also move it uh, this note to other places i can duplicate it i can change the cover i can rename so there are a lot of things uh, that i can do if i want to move this note to another note i can also do it simply uh, just select it and then i can drag it like that and then i can put note inside so it will be grouped into one note and you can see here it gives you the name and you can also change the name of uh, uh, this note so guys this is 
all you need to know about node shelf i hope you guys found this video useful and uh, give it a thumbs up guys and please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much